You good? Give him a. Let's do a little explanation. Rod, okay, do you? so basically you hold it just like that. So it looks upside down. The entire thing fits inside a bag. It's made for a 26 by 14 inch wide bag. Fits right in, and then you just lean onto it. It's pretty easy. And there's your bag right there. Pretty. It's almost pretty self-explanatory. So you know, you see it. Okay, so the actual technique is that you don't use your body, you use your thigh. And you just lean into it with your weight. You know, it's pretty easy for me. I weigh 200 pounds, so that's like nothing. But you put it up against your leg and you lean into it, and you kind of scoop, and it's full. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like this. It's kind of... It's right out. Really easy. The actual technique for using the sandbag, you know, is basically fold the lap and you stamp it down in place so it molds. You know, you don't want you don't want something that looks like that. You want something that'll actually has some give and perform it. One thing I like about this is you don't really have to pick it up at stands. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're going to um, keep this, you don't necessarily have to stick it on the ground. You just leave it in the sand. And then when you go to um, grab some bags or whatever, come back, you just grab it and you're ready to go. And this actually is a shovel, too. So, one thing that helps when you show up to a pile. And that's so that you're not doing clear up here. You just kind of. Start a cavity right there, so it's kind of low, and then, then you're ready to go. You know. Can, yeah. Uh, well, it's got different positions. This is the bagging position, obviously. Uh huh. And that's the tucked-in position for when you want to store it. We want to stack a bunch of them together sure. to transport. Well, this aluminum, uh, it was a uh, 2.8, 2.2 point, two point something pounds. pounds. It's okay. not bad. Yeah. It's. I mean, that's nothing, you know. I kind of like it having a little bit of weight because you can actually, it's got some me, uh, momentum. Versus the it. plastic one's a little, is even lighter than that. Yeah, yeah. way lighter. And it uh, doesn't quite slide through as nice. Yeah, you actually can do it one handed, and then we can do it the upside down way here in a minute. Okay. That one's pretty trippy. Yeah, if you just hold it like that, it takes a couple screws to you get your half bag. Voila. Voila. Just like one that. One hand. So. Show them again real quick. <laughs> All right. Do it again. When we were demonstrating for flooding, you don't even tie it. You only fill it half full to two thirds so that you can just set it down. Make it mold. Let's do it again here. Actually, I can do it upside down. See if I can get it to work upside down. And that's your half bag. Almost like a magic trick, huh? It's, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. I've never seen a tool that can do that. You're not even using real sand. Right, that yeah, is the so toughest. <laughs> you're going to torture test a tool to fill sandbags. That's the stuff right there. It's, it's actually a slurry, a slurry seal mix design right there that we would mix with oil. And <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but we've used it for sandbags. Sure. Uh huh. The problem with it is it's so gritty. It's so gritty and it holds so much moisture. And, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, We'll see what you can do in a minute. Grab the one on top. We need to get these anodized. Dropping it. I'm dropping the ball. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, see, once you get this cavity, the sand just falls right in the back. Yeah, gravity takes over. One more in, real quick. Come on. Time. Yeah. Go. All right, go. When they're anodized, it's wide right in the bag. It's half. Ooh, that's all okay. Thirty seconds. Rod, you're at four and thirty seconds. Yeah. Rod's at five. 18 seconds left. Rod's at six. Oh, this could be it. Nine seconds. Come on. Almost done. Two seconds. Time. There, got seven. Not bad. That's great. It's hard, yeah. It's hard, dude. I'm out of breath. <laughs> How tired are you? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to stop a flood. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give up. <laughs> we'll just drown. We'll just drown. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm actually, I'm a little, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little impressed they got three and a half. That's good. That's good. good. That was good. You guys did. Right. Yeah, we just two. Uh, good two. Speed. That was right. Exactly. And Simon's about the right speed, yeah. too, about three <laughs> with a shovel. So, and that's just your actual shovel. So, Like Joe said, his hands. Go. <laughs> That's three bags. Imagine, imagine a, this one, how many feet would your hands be? 